Hello there, good people. I hope you are doing well. Greetings from Portugal. Nuno here once again. And I hope you are doing well. Today, a small tutorial. And that's following the video that I posted on macOS Mojave 10.14.1 Beta 3. Okay, regarding the non-ability to, uh, you know, install third-party apps or apps that are not identified by Apple. Okay, so in order and uh, some of you wrote in the comments on how to unlock that ability so that's why uh, what we are going to do okay i'll show you some terminal commands well 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 don't worry about terminal commands but i also show you will show you you know an application that you can have on your system okay and uh, well without further ado let's go ahead to the screencast and i'll show you how you can you know revert that situation okay guys so good people once again here we are on the screen and uh, what happened i showed you you know on that little square on the beginning is that when you go to security and privacy there is something missing now you as you can see there is uh, the anywhere okay over here let me put this uh, in bright mode in order for you to see better I'll try to keep this video um, not too long, but well, sometimes I cannot do it. <laughs> so if you go to security and privacy, here we are. Um, there is something, you know, let me put here the password. This is missing. OK, so in order to fix this, uh, let me show you what in fact you have let me go to here to terminal let me i will post this on the on the on the description below okay guys so if you want to this is called you know uh, gatekeeper and this is enabled gatekeeper is enabled i think since i sierra or el capitan i don't know so let's this let's put this as you probably will have so let's put here my password very strong passwords and now uh, what you could have on your system is something missing like this okay as you can see over here let me put again the password uh, you only have these two options okay the download from the app store or app store or identified developers now we want to revert this because we own our computer we want to install whatever we want okay and sometimes you can have something like this and you don't like it okay you can't be open because it is from a in identified developer okay we don't want that so uh, the way to enable this is again go to your terminal command and uh, turn off or the gatekeeper you know sorry let me go ahead turn off the gatekeeper copy and pay uh, paste oh whoa, whoa. let me go ahead copy and paste password once again and now we can quit this and if we go again to security and privacy there you have anywhere okay now you can download from anywhere you can do all the updates that on macOS mojave and everything will be okay now if you don't want to go to this with this route you can always install something called and it is free it is onyx and onyx is an application you know it's an advanced application that allows you lots of things now a word of advice guys if you are not comfortable with these kind of applications uh, don't mess too much because you you know you can um, destroy something in your system and then you'll put on the comments that uh, you know i was the responsible for that so i'm not responsible for anything okay guys so there is this uh, application called onyx you can do lots of things since maintenance utility files and change some param uh, parameters on your systems just go to miscellaneous and turn off gatekeeper and if you turn off gatekeeper you will be able you know without any terminal commands to have you know the security and privacy and download uh, third-party apps from uh, you know uh, unidentified uh, developers or apps that are not on the app store very well so i hope you like it 
I hope it's useful. There is something like this over here in the site and something like that also. Both of them will work. And if you want more content like this, there is a red button. Okay, and there are my social links over here. Go ahead if you want to follow. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.